Forget GPT-5, OpenAI has already got its sights on GPT-6, codenamed Orion. It's being built using secret data from a secret model, and we could be about to see the most powerful AI system ever built. But with so many of their super alignment team leaving, will OpenAI even be able to stay in control of the model? And will a company with such a history of over-promising and under-delivering actually live up to the hype this time? Let's break it down. So it's been rumored for a long time that OpenAI has been developing a model codenamed Strawberry, which is apparently so powerful that it's only being used internally because they don't want to release it to the world. Now, apparently, instead of releasing it to the public, they're actually using it to create training data for the next model, Orion, which is expected to become GPT-6. The goal being to create an AI so powerful that it leaves all of the competition in the dust. Now, the training data part here is very relevant because we're starting to reach a plateau at which all of the major frontier models have essentially hoovered up everything on the internet and already trained their models on it. So new sources of proprietary data are gonna become increasingly important over time. So by skipping a release of GPT-5 and focusing on this training data for Orion, OpenAI is attempting to take a monumental leap in AI capability. If they're successful, Orion could really redefine what we think of as AI again, making it the most advanced system ever created. But before we get too carried away, let's inject a dose of reality. OpenAI's record is riddled with examples of them over-promising and under-delivering. They have announced projects like Sora, Advanced Text-to-Speech, and even Search GPT, but many of them never saw the light of day or were selectively released, meaning Many users who've been paying for subscriptions for a long time don't even get to use them. So now with all the buzz around Orion and around Strawberry before that, we have to ask, is this just more hype? Could OpenAI be playing up their advancements to help them raise more money? We know that Sam Altman, aside from being an amazing entrepreneur, really is an excellent salesman. And it certainly wouldn't be the first time a tech company has overhyped what it can do to bring in venture capital. Adding to these concerns is the fact that many of the super alignment team, people like Jan Laker and Ilya Sutskeva, have left the business. These were the people who were tasked with making sure that these advanced AI systems were safe and aligned with what humans want them to do. So if OpenAI really is on the verge of developing this incredibly powerful new model, these are exactly the kinds of people that you would hope would still be involved with the business. Without them, you could argue that the risk of OpenAI developing a model that gets beyond human capability and beyond human control is increased. So what is it that actually makes Orion interesting? Well, it's been hinted that Orion may be capable of much more methodical thinking, the kind of system two thinking popularized by Daniel Kahneman, which, invo which involves slow, deliberate, logical reasoning, as opposed to the quick instinctive responses that are characterized by system one thinking. It's also been rumored that its capabilities with maths problems could be a lot stronger. If it really can operate on this kind of a level, then it is conceivable that it could possibly be a real game changer. But again, there's a catch here. The promise of this kind of thinking is huge, but without the right safety and alignment systems in place, it's potentially also much more dangerous. You can think of the kind of doomsday scenarios where AI is able to plan destructive scenarios in advance. To sum it up, OpenAI's latest project is something to watch closely. It'll be very interesting if they do in fact skip a model, use the model to create training data, which they then use to train the next model on. And the potential for a breakthrough is definitely there. But as we've discussed, there's a risk, A, that it's all just hype and hot air, but also a potentially more serious one, which is that if the AI can reason and think much further ahead, then there is a greater degree of risk in terms of its capabilities. Now, personally, I'm very much a optimist and tend to be in favor of accelerating the development of technology, but we do have to acknowledge that AI is potentially an extremely powerful one. So the road ahead for Orion is anything but certain. Whether it's the dawn of a new AI era or just another carriage on the hype train, only time will tell. If you're still watching, that means you are one of the most engaged viewers on this video. So I just wanna take a moment to say thank you for sticking with me this far. Thank you for clicking on the video in the first place. And 
just to say that I hope that if you're one of the many people who has watched several of my videos but hasn't yet smashed that subscribe button, then I hope you will consider doing so. That's it from me. I'll see you next time.